The Lord sustains my soul. I will sacrifice to you with willing heart and praise your name, O Lord, for it is good. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My sisters and my brothers, we are indeed blessed to be in the presence of our precious God. We take a moment to humbly acknowledge not only our sinfulness, we acknowledge the very mercy of God as we prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. He was sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Show favor, O Lord, to your servants, and mercifully increase the gifts of your grace that may be fervent in hope, faith, and charity. They may be ever watchful in keeping your commands. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Show the saving power of God. To the young man, show the saving power of God. Gather my faithful ones before me, those who have made a covenant with me by sacrifice, and the heavens proclaim his justice, for God himself is the judge. To the young man, show the saving power of God. Not for your sacrifices do I rebuke you, for your burnt offerings are before me always. I take from your house no bullock, no goats out of your field. To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. Why do you recite my statutes and profess my covenant with your mouth, though you hate discipline and cast my word behind you? To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. When you do these things, shall I be deaf to it? Or do you think that I am like yourself? I will correct you by drawing them up before your eyes. He that offers praise as a sacrifice glorifies me, 
and to him that goes the right way, I will show the salvation of God. To the unfaithful, I will show the sin of God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Some of the scribes and Pharisees said to Jesus, Teacher, we wish to see a sign from you. He said to them in reply, An evil and unfaithful generation seeks a sign, but no sign will be given it, except the sign of Jonah, the prophet. Just as Jonah was in the belly of the whale three days and three nights, so will the Son of Man be in the heart of the earth three days and three nights. At the judgment, the men of Nineveh will arise with this generation and condemn it, because they repented at the preaching of Jonah. There is something greater than Jonah here. At the judgment, the queen of the south will arise with this generation and condemn it, because she came from the ends of the earth to hear the wisdom of Solomon. And there is something greater than Solomon here. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, the Lord Jesus Christ. Micah, the prophet that we hear from today, really came just uh, years before Jesus came. And yet his message was still the same as the other prophets. It's clear that the many people who heard all the prophets, and even to this day hearing the prophet Micah, still do not do, at least many of them do not do what God calls we often call God to, hey, hear us, do this and do that. But you can hear God calling his people in this words, in these words today that Micah pro proclaims from the mouth of God, where God says, O oh my people, what have I done to you? How have I offended you? Answer me. Wow. To hear God saying that. To know that, yeah, there are times where we do offend Him. And then God continues. So you may be asking, what do I want from you? And of course, God tells through Micah the people, you know, I sent you Moses, I freed you from Egypt, from slavery of sin. I gave you a new life, I gave you manna, I gave you water in the desert. God is saying all that that he has done. And then of course they begin to say what? Well, what do you want us to do now God? Continue to offer you all kinds of bullocks and sacrifices and burnt offerings. And I love the simplicity of the message of God, which at times may be difficult to do, but it's still the very same message that Jesus Christ gave us and continues to give us to this day. That message, God says, you've been told, O man, what is good and what the Lord requires of you, only as is said in the, through the mouth of Micah, but the words of God, only to do the right and to love goodness and to walk humbly with your God. Very simple things 
the way we complicate our lives sometimes, which has been done since the beginning of God speaking to the people of, of Israel. And even to this day, sometimes we complicate our lives so much that we can't hear his simple and humble message. And yet he's saying, just do what is right. And your heart will tell you that you're doing what is right, because the heart was made to do what is right. He tells people, even to this day, and through the message of Jesus Christ, to do good, to know what is good, and to live goodness. When our minds are so distracted that the things of this world, we may forget what goodness is, and therefore forget God. But it's that third thing that God says that always is so moving and so powerful because it comes from the heart of God. What does he say in Micah today? He says, here's the third thing I want you to do. I want you to walk humbly with your God. To know that if he's saying to walk, that means that wherever we walk, wherever we go to, whatever we do, whomever we meet, we can be aware of the presence of God and His love for us and for all. It's an amazing invitation to know that when we allow ourselves not only to hear the Lord, but to partake in the Word and the bread that gives us eternal life, then everything changes. We learn to live in and through his love, in and through his mercy. To know that our God still loves us and still can pour his mercy within us. May we ask the Lord to humbly open our ears and our hearts and our minds to what, the, the, what he delights in, what he desires of us, and to do it and to respond with the power of God's Spirit to indeed do right, to indeed love, and to indeed, indeed walk humbly with our God. And as, as we humbly stand before you, Lord, we lift up to you the concerns that are found in our lives, in our families' lives. We lift up to you, Lord, the many crosses that are found in this world. and all who minister to God's people, may they be moved by compassion and love for those they serve. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For our political leaders and candidates for public office, may they act according to ethical and moral principles in their conduct of office and their campaigns for election. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For ourselves, may we see how we must change our lives to embody more fully God's love for all. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For all who are ill or suffering distress, may their faith strengthen them and their faith in Christ bring them to joy. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all people to respect and honor human life from conception to natural death. We pray to the Lord. The Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For all who have died, and especially Taylor Lindsay, may he be gathered with Mary and all the saints in the kingdom of God. We pray to the Lord. The Lord, Lord hear our prayer. And we continue, Lord, to lift up to you all those who are affected directly and indirectly with the coronavirus. Lift up to you in a most special way all doctors, and nurses, and staff, and hospitals, and nursing homes and facilities caring for them. 
they know your touch. We pray to the Lord. Lord and we believe you will answer us, Lord, for we pray in the precious name of your Son, Jesus, the Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given, and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all this holy church. O God, who in the one perfect sacrifice brought to completion varied offerings of the law, accept we pray this sacrifice from your faithful servant and make it whole, as you bless the gifts of Abel, so that with what each has offered to the honor of your majesty may benefit the salvation of all, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, and Eternal God through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love. His resurrection we confess with living faith. And His coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, supper was ended. He took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
this tree of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Robert, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, the glory, and the glory of the Lord. O oh, Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord Jesus be with you all. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Amen. 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 Before we receive communion, because our mass here is being live streamed, I'd like to invite all those who are home celebrating with us to prepare by making a spiritual communion, receiving the Lord Jesus in your heart. And so I invite you to pray the act of spiritual communion in 
we who are here will help you to praise and praise. Please repeat after me. My Jesus. My Jesus. I believe that you are present. I believe that you are present. In the most holy sacrament of the Eucharist. In the most holy sacrament of the Eucharist. I love you. I love you. Above all things. Above all things. And I desire to receive you. And I desire to receive you. Into my soul. Into my soul. Since I cannot, since I cannot at this moment, at this moment receive, you sacramentally, receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually, come at least spiritually into, my heart. into my heart. I embrace you, I embrace you as if you were already there, as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. And unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me, never permit me to be separated from you. To be separated from you. Amen. Amen. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries.
to pass from her former ways to newness of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray to Saint Michael. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks for the Have a blessed evening, my friends. Yeah.